Hey friends, Sean from SGT Report here with a very important economic collapse update. I have a question for you, dear friends. How long do you think it will be before Illinois and Chicago specifically looks a lot like this? Guys, of course, that's a scene from Caracas, Venezuela, where the economy and the monetary system is in complete freefall collapse with a hyperinflationary collapse of the Bolivar. And how long will it be before we see similar scenes in Chicago as Zero Hedge is reporting from horrific to catastrophic court ruling sends Illinois into financial abyss? We're going to cover that here in a second. But as readers of SGT report know, one of our favorite people out there in Truthland is Mike Adams, the health ranger, who has very kindly stepped up to support. SGT report. He's a great guy. And he's been warning people for a very long time, most recently in his video titled Illinois Financial Collapse Draws Near. And he made this video on June 27th, just days before this devastating court ruling, which will absolutely gut what's left of Illinois. And here's what Mike Adams warned. Be aware that your pension is probably going to collapse. And now the state of Illinois, being that it's basically broke, we're going to see a collapse of pension funds for all the retired school teachers, police officers, firefighters, you know, government workers, all across the state. They are trying to live on their pension funds. Those pensions are going to be slashed. Probably, my guess, is they're going to be slashed to 30 cents on the dollar. So if you're getting a check from the state of Illinois right now for, let's say, $1,000 a month, you need to count on that check being reduced to $300 a month. Can they do that? Of course they can. Bankruptcy is called bankruptcy protection. It means that they reorganize the cash outflow to creditors, which includes their pension IOUs. This is a breaking news alert. Got some more breaking news now. Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, is caught in a grave crime against America that could put him in prison tomorrow. Joe Hoff to the Gateway Pundit and now reporting President Obama is engaged in acts that may go against the Logan Act, which prohibits Americans from committing treason by acting with other governments against the United States' best interests. Now, Obama's recent actions are raising some eyebrows that could land him in jail. Take a look. Just days after President Trump met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in to talk North Korea strategy, Obama took a trip to South Korea to do the exact same thing. And this isn't the first time he's taken to the international stage to undermine the current administration. Listen. I hope that current members of Congress recall that it actually doesn't take a lot of courage to aid those who are already powerful, already comfortable, already influential. Because of the current debates that are taking place in Washington, uh, it may be that some of the steps we put in place move more slowly than they otherwise would have. In this new world that we live in, we can't isolate ourselves. We can't hide behind a wall. Well, it's painfully obvious that uh, Barack Obama is undermining President Trump on the world stage, and Obama may in fact be in violation of the Logan Act, which is stated as a single federal statute, making it a crime for a citizen to confer with foreign governments against the interests of the United States. Pro-government forces led by the Syrian Arab Army, SAA, Tiger Forces, have fully expelled ISIS terrorists from the area east of the Hanassa Ithria Road. Initially, the Tiger Forces took control over the entire Ithria Resafa Road, including the Habari oil field and nearby points. Then, after a series of firefights with ISIS terrorists, government troops cleared the remaining ISIS-held pocket in eastern Aleppo. With this advance, the SAA shortened the front line with ISIS in the area and secured a useful supply line to its strong point of Resafa. In the current situation, government forces are likely to be developing momentum against ISIS terrorists east of Salamiya. If the SAA and its allies secure the road between Salamiya and Palmyra, they will further shorten the front line and repel any possible ISIS counterattack on the Tyres airbase, which could threaten the supply lines of government forces operating against ISIS east of Palmyra.